So now we've got the car up in the air. I'll be able to show you the play in this wheel. You can't really probably see on camera that there's a lot of it, but you can certainly hear it. And you can certainly feel it as well. Take this cover off. I'm just using the screwdriver to um, lever that off against the hub, and as you can see, that's come off pretty easily. Next, just use a pair of grips or something. Bends the split pin background. Pull. And then pull out like that. I'll have a new one that I can fit to this. That don't look too bad. That looks pretty. Um, there seems to be plenty of grease in there. Um, this is as far as you need to go if you're tightening um, the wheel bearing up. Um, you just tighten it up a little bit from here. You don't have to take the wheel off because um, obviously you can work through the uh, the centre of the wheel there. Um, but we're, I still want to take this off and and check it. So that means taking uh, the brake drum off. Fortunately, I take these off every year just to check everything inside the brakes. Um, like there's part of my pre MOT checks. So that normally comes off pretty easily for me. Probably a good recommendation to do. And the reason why we're removing that is so we can simply undo this um, and slide the hub out and hopefully have a look at the uh, the roller taper bearing in there. So I'm using a 15 16 bit, that's the one that fits. I believe a 24 millimeter would fit as well, but uh, Unfortunately, um, I seem to have lost mine. So I'm just going to take this nut out. Nice and greasy, all of this. And that has loosened off our hub nicely. So that's also nice and greasy. In all fairness, this uh, doesn't look too bad in here at all. Natural fats probably didn't really need doing. We'll give it a clean up anyway. Put some nice fresh grease in there. Not sure if it's um, actually got hot here at some point. Because of the coloration of the, the metal there, that looks like it's got hot at some point in its life. So all I'm really doing is just doing the best I can to clear out the old grease. As I said, in this particular scenario, it's, uh, it's I don't think it's really necessary because uh, it was pretty well greased before. It hadn't dried out or anything. Um, but it doesn't hurt to check these things. On the end of the hub here, you can see that there's a bit of a 
an oil uh, yeah, an oil seal or a grease seal, whatever you want to call it in this case. Um, you will obviously lift this out and take this bearing out here. Move you back a bit. There we go. So all I've done there was just get under the lip of the of the seal and pry upwards as you can see. The seal looks in pretty good condition to me from what I can see. It weren't leaking before anyway. So we'll reuse that. Give that a little bit of a clean. And now we can lift out the other side of the roller bearing. continue cleaning the hub out I'm not going to clean this right out it's only the mating surfaces there's, um, there's quite a bit of fair grease in there But we're going to clear the worst of it out, especially where the bearing runs along that inner inner ring just there, which looks in really good condition. There was no graunchiness at all when I was um, spinning the wheel that I could feel anyway, and and this is confirmation of that. So all I'm going to do now is just refill this with um, some fresh grease. In actual fact, I'm going to clean the back of that hub up first. inside there just want to make sure there's no grit at all on these uh, on where the bearing runs that looks good and that looks good. You're definitely going to need plenty of tissue for this job. Thank you. 
So I'm going to start packing this out now with some grease. I'm just using this old Hax and Hudson. Just a multi-purpose grease this one. All I'm doing is getting the grease and pushing it in into the bearing like this. I think it's a bit better that way. And you can see it come out on the other side. Oh, this is proper sticky stuff this. that back into the hub like that. I've already given this a bit of a wipe over, just grease that up a little bit on the inner and outer edges. And this simply pushes back on. Push that back on. Now we can grease up this other bearing. See that's even pushing some of the older stuff out. That's good, that's exactly what we wanted. the bearing back in and for good measure we'll just put a dab of grease in there with it next goes this uh, washer then our hub nut I'm just going to go and get myself cleaned up, I think. Right, so now I'm all nicely cleaned up. Just going to clean this hub up a little bit. We're just going to let spread this grease out a little bit on here. 
that will stop the uh, the hub from sticking. Brake drum rather. Put the screw back in. I never do these up tight. That's it, that's all you need. It's only designed to hold it on there. The wheel bolts will do the rest. Next we'll put the wheel back on. This is because um, as you tighten the hub nut there um, you're supposed to spin either the, the disc or the wheel or the drum in this case now you need a torque wrench and we're going to set this to 25 newton meters that's 20 that's 25 there So as I'm tightening this, we're just going to turn the ride wheel. That sets the that sets both the bearings to the shaft. And then we loosen it off. And we don't quite tighten it up. We just make sure we can move this. washer behind here which we can't yet so it's just got a bit of side to side movement there so we'll just tighten that up a bit more and then we'll go back a bit and there we can still see Still got a bit of movement on that thrust washer. Let me bring you in closer. So there you can see, got a slight bit of movement, and we still got, um, we're still able to put our cotter pin in. New cotter pin. Or new split pin, I should say. I'm just going to spread the legs out and fold it back round onto itself. Try and do the same the other side. Yeah. Put a bit of fresh grease in the cap. There we go. I don't know if that's necessary or not, but it doesn't hurt, stops it from rusting. And that slips on just like that. Give the wear to spin. Now, just got a very tiny little bit of movement, not as much as we did before. Job well done. Now, I've just got the other side to do.
So that's the car back on all four of its wheels now. I'm just going to tighten these uh, lug nuts up, back up to 90 newton meters of torque. That's what this requires. I always like to go around them twice just to make sure. And there you have it. That's how I surface my rear wheel bearings. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.